Alfie, the Turtle That Disappeared, written by Thyra Heater. On my sixth birthday, I got Alfie. The lady at the store said he looked about six too. We were six together. At home, on my carpet, he stood very still. I introduced him to everyone. I taught him my wiggle dance and made him presents, but he didn't seem to notice. I showed him my costumes and wrote him songs. Mostly, he stayed inside his shell. Every day I told him stories, like how Dasha got new overalls, and how Ruth lost a tooth, and how Peter from downstairs got a fish. I even told him my best joke about the walrus wearing pants, but he didn't seem to get it. After a while, I kind of forgot about Alfie. He didn't do much. Well, until the morning of my seventh birthday when... He disappeared. When I first met Nia, I knew she was special. She told me that I was six, and she was six too. I had never been six before, but I was happy we were six together. Her home tickled my toes, but she smelled nice, so I was calm. She had tons of friends. Nia taught me to dance. I practiced wiggling inside my shell. She gave me presents. I had never been given presents. She made me laugh and laugh and laugh. How could I make her as happy as she made me? I had to think. And think and think. Nia was planning her seventh birthday. She told me we were going to be seven together. I had to find her a present. There were some good options behind the couch, but they were too dusty. I looked in all the corners and shadows and cracks and found some great places, but no great presents. I asked Toby and he said, You should try outside. Outside is the best. Outside is the best. Get her a stick. I had never been outside before. I climbed past stinky things and sweet things, but nothing as fun as Nia. I had to keep looking. I had to take a risk. I crunched through the reds and oranges and yellows, but the longer I looked for a special one, the browner they got. I found a nice blue cap, but it was too small for Nia's head. There was nothing in the desert. My toes were cold and my heart was sad. I would never find a present as special as my friend. The snail said all I needed was a good rest. He knew the perfect place for me to take a nap. Just over those stones, he said. So I napped. And napped and napped. When I woke up, I felt better. I asked the fish for help, and she showed me the things that had fallen to the bottom. And then I saw it. It was perfect. It looked just like something Nia would love. I had to rush to the party. When I finally got over the rocks, the snail said, That was fast. I was right on time. There she was. I could tell Nia was very surprised and happy. I had brought her the perfect present. Now we were seven together. <laughs>